frequency modulation implementation using LabVIEW software. So according to this equation, we need to take all the components from the palette. So first we will take we will take the simulation signal. Uh, so that is nothing but a carrier signal cos omega C T. So that we will set the frequency as a thousand and also the samples per, per second as a uh, one lakh. So we will set uh, samples as a uh, one lakh. Then again, the next one is uh, change the signal name as uh, cosine, that is uh, cos uh, for better ident identification. We will set the name as uh, cos omega t cos. Now, after after change the name, uh, we will we will copy the same signal, uh, same signal for the sine omega c t. So we will again uh, the same copy the same signal and change the name as a sign signal here uh, no data is changed uh, only only the data is uh, uh, before it was the phase delay is 90 now it is a zero degree so we have simulated both the cos omega c and the sin omega c according to this equation now we need to set the message signal that is a sin omega mt here the frequency must be must be less so we will set the frequency as 100 uh, and the amplitude does not change as like previous so we will set as uh, 6 now after having all the three components uh, as per the equation given is of t we need to set the components so for which we will take a, a we will take the frequency as the variable for all the signals so here in the front panel we will say in the numeric palette we will set the knob we will select the three knob one for the carrier frequency and the second one is for the uh, message frequency and the third one is for the modulation index beta so we will change all the names as uh, the first one is a uh, modulation index that is a beta and uh, second uh, we will change the name as a, a message frequency a message frequency and the third one as a carrier frequency and we will change the message frequency as 100 as the maximum value and the carrier frequency uh, here also we will set the maximum value as a thousand we will set the maximum value as thousand so after changing uh, all the values again coming back to the uh, block diagram uh, connect all the components uh, to the respective uh, signals that means a cosine signal that is carrier frequency and knob is connected to the first one uh, first a simulate signal and the third simulate signal and a message frequency is connected to the second signal right so connect all the carrier frequencies all the frequency knobs to the respective uh, blocks right next uh, we, we need to have a, a cosine and a sine sine function uh, that will be taken from uh, mathematics uh, there we have the elementary that we have trigonometry functions uh, one sine function and one cos function we will we will take we will take from uh, both the sine and cos function now this uh, in order to get a beta into sine omega d uh, we must have the multiplier so we will take the numeric palette we will take the multiplier so for this multiplier one of the input is the beta that is a modulation index and the other one is the sine omega d the output of this beta sine omega d uh, one uh, uh, the cos beta sine omega d will be generated and also sine beta uh, sine omega d uh, that is a second term in the above equation so that will be generated now after uh, after having this one uh, again the first uh, in the equation first equation we have cos omega c t that is getting multiplied by cos beta sin omega d uh, that equation we will take a, by having the multiplier and the same manner we will take the second term also that is a sin omega c t uh, multiplied by sin beta sin omega d sin, sin of beta sin omega d 
so both after having uh, that we will take uh, according to this equation we need to generate the now uh, both the uh, first term and the second term getting subtracted so we will take the subtract subtraction from the uh, numeric palette so uh, both the sequence are getting subtracted now in order to see the waveform uh, we must have the uh, graph uh, that will be taken in from the front panel so the graph is taken from the front panel that is a, a waveform graph now this waveform uh, in this waveform graph uh, we need to see the two signals in the waveform graph so in order to see two signals we must have the merge signal block uh, that will be taken from express palette there we have the signal then we uh, here we have the merge signal so that will we will take uh, for this uh, match signal we one input is the modulated uh, input and another one is a message signal that is sine omega d that will be the second input for this uh, match signal block so the output of the match signal is connected to the graph so let us uh, name uh, name name the label now everything is over uh, almost uh, the diagram is over now we come to the front panel uh, enlarge the front panel and uh, also enlarge the uh, waveform graph uh, waveform graph now let us uh, simulate this uh, diagram run make the run continuous one so now all the knobs are zero now increase the carrier frequency so the observed is the carrier frequency now by changing the message frequency that is white color and then now we have the two waveforms in the waveform and uh, see the modulation index uh, variation in the modulation index is, is causing the result in the carrier waveform uh, this carrier waveform is the changing accordance with the frequency of the input frequency of the message signal now randomly changing the all the carrier message and the modulation index we can observe the difference in the waveform so that you will see we will see i am randomly varying all the simultaneously we can we can see the variation in the graph